Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to show you how to set up the G1000 app if you decide to do that on the Ultimate system. So you go to Simeonic.net and you'll be prompted on that in the app itself. And you go to Downloads and you simply download the G1000 bridge for FSX or and or the one for X-Plane, and I'd recommend the 64-bit version for X-Plane. Now to install this in X-Plane, it's, it's definitely different. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and I'll find a file here called G1000 Bridge X-64Win 1.4.xpl. Um, and so I just right-click on that and choose Copy, and I go over to my X-Plane folder, go into Resources and Plugins, and I just paste it in there. And I already have it in there, uh, but I'll go ahead and replace the file that I had in there. And now it's installed in X-Plane, the plugin. And this only covers installing the plugin for right now. Now with Microsoft Flight Sim, it downloads an executable file, an .exe file. And I recommend copying it to your desktop, which I've already done, and you just launch that little program, and it'll start running, but it'll be down here in your tax taskbar, so if you want to look at it, you can click on it and see that it's, it's running, but you have to hit the Start button at some point. So I recommend you go ahead and you uh, fire up Microsoft Flight Sim, which I have over here. And then what you'll see on this G1000 bridge program is FSX status will change from not connected to connected. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And it's waiting for a connection from my G1000. So I'll start up the G1000 app on my iPad. And if you click in the very upper right hand corner, it doesn't indicate that there's a button there, but you just have to know to click in the upper right hand corner right there. It brings up this menu, which I'm going to go to SIM connection, and I'm going to choose FSX, and then I'm going to hit start. And it says waiting for SIM connection, and then it says we're connected. And you'll see up here that the G1000 bridge, or maybe you can't see it very well, but it says that we're connected. The G1000 is connected. Now, the MFD does not talk directly to X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator. It talks to this iPad, and this iPad does all the talking. So we have to get this iPad running the MFD talking to the PFD. So again, you hit the upper right hand corner on both of these, which will bring up this menu. And on the MFD, when I hit this PFD uh, tab, and over on the uh, PFD, I hit the MFD tab. And I just hit connect on this one and connect on that one. And if they're on the same network, they'll find each other. You see the IP address of the MFD come up over here, and the IP address of the PFD come up over here. So you just Tap it, tap it again, and it says it's connecting. Now the trick is that I found, it'll just sit here and say connecting forever. What I then do is I usually hit cancel over here, and then it'll say, do you want to accept the connection from the MFD? And I say yes, and then now they're connected. So that's the tricky part. I don't know why that it works that way. Maybe that's a bug that they're going to fix, but that seems to be the way it always works for me. Um, so if you need to, back this video up and watch that again, because it's not intuitive. You tell them both to connect. They say they're connecting, and then they never really finish. You cancel it on the PFD side, and then when it says, do you want the MFD to connect, you say yes, and then boom, you're connected. So again, back that video up and watch it again if you're not sure how to make that happen. Now in X-Plane, let's say you want to switch to X-Plane, you go over to your PFD, and there's a little X-Plane tab over here. And you, first of all, we'll stop the connection for Microsoft Flight Sim, and we'll close all that out. Now, in X-Plane, there's actually, you know, we, we copied that little file into the Plugins folder. And so that starts up the, or that 
installs the plugin in X-Plane. And so within X-Plane, you go to the plugins menu and you have to hit basically start to connect to your uh, PFD. And then over on the PFD, you go to uh, simulation, or excuse me, sim connection, X-Plane, make sure your IP address, um, well, your IP address is going to show up for this particular tablet, and you're going to need that piece of information to type into X-Plane, because X-Plane needs to know the IP address of this tablet. So we're loading up X-Plane now, we're almost there. So the connection on these G1000 apps is kind of different between the two sims. You know, with Microsoft Flight Sim, you run a third party program, you run an executable that handles all of the communication. And within X-Plane, it's actually done within a plugin. So I go to the plugins menu, might be hard to see, it's way over here. And then I go to the G1000 Bridge X setup, and that brings up this little box. And that's where I type in the IP address of the PFD, 192.168.1.21. And I hit start. And then over here on the PFD, I hit start. And it says now we're connected. And our MFD is also connected because it's it never stopped talking to the PFD. And so now we can um, put ourselves up in the air here. And you'll see that the PFD is indeed updating. So that's how you connect the two, uh, you know, Flight Sim 10 or X Plane up to the G1000 app. It's very different between the two, but uh, not too bad once you watch this video.